All right, welcome back to Better Kansas City. Now, spring break fun doesn't have to cost a lot or actually cost a thing when you've got creative ways to fill the time. We have author and writer Tiffany Kaloran here with ideas to keep everyone busy and prevent those dreaded words. I don't know if you get them in your house like I do. I'm bored, I'm Dad. Bored, I'm bored. And we all need a little bit of spring right now, right? Oh, my so, goodness. Can we stop with I, this <laughs> winter weather, please? Yeah, but no, you're totally right. Spring break is only about two weeks away. It is. For a lot of districts here. So uh, we need to feel that time. Yes. And even if you don't have a great beach vacation plan, you can have a lot of fun in Kansas City. It's really just kind of about putting a new spin on things. Okay. So say the weather doesn't cooperate all and right. you take the kids to the art museum, you've got to keep them inside, right? Love the Nelson. Put a little bit of spin on it and challenge them to kind of find that artwork that speaks to them when you're walking through the museum. Okay. And then have kind of a follow-up discussion about that artwork. Um, challenge them to actually recreate it. Get some oh, cool. canvas and art supplies. Turn that kitchen table into your own little art gallery one afternoon. And it, it it's a great opportunity to kind of teach them and educate them along the way. So luckily, my kids are a little bit more artistic than I am. But I already wanted to go to do this because I want to put a picture of the original and then put the recreation next to it. There you go, there you go. It's all about creativity. Or to getting decorating ideas. So. Exactly, exactly. All right, so what, what do we have up next here okay, with, so the, with the mason jar? Spring also means spring cleaning. That's they right. They might not be as excited about this, yeah. <laughs> but give, the, give them a little bit of an incentive. It's a great time to talk about charitable organizations and mm -hmm. have them choose the ones that speak to them that they want to donate to. And also, maybe they want to sell some things at the spring garage sale. That's right. Facebook Marketplace. Have a, you know, just have a jar, put all the funds in there, and then it's a family fun fun. Maybe you go to Worlds of Fun. Yeah, no, that's a great, great idea. I might, and my kids, my my, my ten-year-old, he's starting to to realize about money and he understands that and that's a big motivator for him sometimes. They like to watch it grow. That's right. <laughs> then they like to spend it too. They like to the spend point. it too. All right, uh, some fun some fun books and travel activities to the zoo. Yes, so if the if the weather cooperates, mm -hmm. everybody's going to flock to the zoo. <laughs> Again, here's here's kind of a secondary activity you could do after a day at the zoo. What animal do they want to learn more about? Maybe oh, yeah. maybe then that's a trip to the library. Mm -hmm. Maybe they check out books about those animals and you kind of learn something about your kids along the way. Yeah. What animals do they like and what do they want to learn more about? Very very cool, or maybe some stuffed animals or something they can have exactly. in the room and still play with. Exactly. All right, up next. Okay, so book club. Oh, yes. We are big readers in my house. Good. So you don't have to necessarily all be reading the same book, but instead of having TV time one night, mm -hmm. say it's actually going to be a family book club. <laughs> and so maybe everybody shows up in the living room. You have cookies, you have hot chocolate. Everybody mm -hmm. talks about the books they're reading, the books that they want to read and why. If you really kind of you know want a little adventure, take them to the neighborhood coffee shop. Yeah. Make them feel like they're doing something special and again it's it's a fun way to get to know your kids a little bit better in terms of what they like to read yeah. and why get getting to talk about those books and getting them away from the video games and, and the TV and I really like the experience aspect of that you know because Sure, anybody can go read a book, but right. to make it an experience for them, take them out somewhere to, like, like you said, the, the coffee shop or the library or you know somewhere else, and make right. it more of an immersive type of a, a fun experience. And for it's them. it's such a small change, but it makes it feel really special. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Yeah. And then we got some so, some fun baking, cooking baking. exercises. This is my go-to. Okay. If those if my boys say they're bored, we're gonna bake <laughs> we're something. Gonna bake some cookies. Um, this is so fun because if they're of the right age, have them find the recipes, have them figure out what they need to be doing, go to the store and buy everything. Mm -hmm. Thing. This is a great way to show them that you actually do use math, <laughs> Sorry. like measurements and fractions. There you go. There's and a there's face <laughs> on the beater, on the uh, on the spatula. I'm very excited about it. And this is, you know, kind of a kid's kit. So it's actually really fun, and it'll get them more excited about yeah, it. Yeah, very cool. And then finally, up. Uh, so I'm not okay. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm not a fan of painting. Really? No, hate it. I would rather do anything else than paint. I love to paint. It's immediate like <laughs> gratification because you're changing something immediately. Can you I, can you rip some of that off on me? Because I, I, I'm just, no. Well, you know, during that week, maybe you have some downtime and there's a mm. project you haven't tackled yet. And maybe it's your kid's room. Maybe they've always wanted the room repainted. Okay. Great. They can help. They can do it. They can get everything hauled out of that room. This mm -hmm. is my bathroom project right here. You oh, know? Yeah. yeah. This is over spring break. I'm going to I'm gonna do some painting. Have them be part of the process. They can help tape. Yeah. They can help kind of be part of that. And at the week, you have a beautiful new room. All right. Well, hey, you have a bunch of really great ideas set up. So hopefully some of those can help you guys out as we are... I can't believe spring break is as close away. I know. It's going to be here before you know it. So thank you again for giving us a head start for spring break.